I'm a man of constant sorrow. I've seen trouble all my days. What's up, YouTube? I got a couple little projects going on here. I'll show you guys a little trick I learned a few years ago. This package. You can take the car out, modify it, put it back in the package, and I use a uh, uh, Q-tip, some Elmer's glue. Actually, what I have it somewhere. Oh. Some uh, neutral pH craft adhesive. Apply it along the edge on the inside of the package here. And uh, I have some clothespins or some uh, spring clamps. Put them along the edge, hold it down, and you have a uh, modified Hot Wheel in the original package. It's kind of cool. Let's think about. Uh, Paint this one blue. I don't know why. <clears throat> it just looks like it might be cool if it was painted blue. Maybe some different wheels on it. I've also got, I haven't loosened this package up yet. But uh, what I use fingernail polish remover. You apply it along the back. I apply it just on the bottom. I don't apply it along the top because I leave that for a flap so I have somewhere to go back to. And uh, loosens right up. Let it sit about 30 seconds, 45 seconds. Works pretty cool. Uh, I haven't had a whole lot going on. It's soccer season. So we've been going back and forth to the soccer field for practice and stuff. Yeah, this thing about uh, Maybe painting this one like candy apple red or something and maybe doing like some sort of two-tone with silver or gray or charcoal or something. I don't know. Might look pretty silly. But, uh, yeah, that's about it. Had some, uh, got to do a little bit of work on the goozy. Turn some lights on for you guys. Found my spark plug wires. Clean it up, straighten things up is a good thing sometimes because find stuff. Um, I also have a new coil wire. I've got this. Get over here. The float is sticking on this carburetor. I got to pull this thing back off and take a look at it. <clears throat> I don't know if it's got some trash in there. I don't know where it would have gotten the trash. Maybe out of the hose or the lawnmower gas I had in it or something I don't know but uh, got the timing set on it's running pretty good still haven't gotten a title from my dad but uh, yeah looking forward to putting this thing on the road putting some miles on it see if I can get it broken in got a little bit of rain this morning flowers perked up a little bit a little bit of rain that's still on the flowers. Hope we get a lot more rain tonight is what they're saying. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Forgot to do a video on this. I got the Rick Fix sticker. It's a cool sticker, man. So I've been uh, catching up on some videos. <clears throat> I think I still have when I got up this morning, I think it was up 27 or 30. I did watch uh, Tommy Shoes videos yesterday. <laughs> Every time I watch one, I try to comment and it would say the video has been removed. Okay. That's, that's cool. But then a couple minutes later, another one would pop up. 
and it was the same one, but I guess he just wasn't happy with the way the other ones come out. But, uh, yeah, he's he's fun to watch. If if anybody that's subscribed to me isn't subscribed to Tommy, it's a wild-eyed northern boy. He's uh, he's a character of himself, man. He's a good guy. Does some really good paint jobs. Does build some really cool stuff. He's got he's got a welding cart, man. That thing is set up to go. I've also been watching some uh, videos on paint guns. Here's my paint gun. I don't can't remember where I got it. Put air in it. Put paint in it, and it you know sprays stuff and. The stuff dries and you got paint. Uh, that's my expert opinion. <clears throat> really, the only thing I've really ever painted is the orange bike. I painted the frame and gas tank on the purple one here, and I painted the side covers and the uh, saddlebag lids. I've also got the trunk that goes on here. Matches the uh, old late 70's early 80's vintage uh, Craig Vetter stuff. Which I did get to meet him one meet him one year up at uh, Vintage Days in Columbus which I missed this year. It's the first one in uh, five or six years we've missed. Past few of them been yeah, they've been uh, pretty dry, really. My wife likes to go up and beat on other people's motorcycles. They have uh, demo rides. Different factories bring their bikes out. You know, she's ridden a Spider. She's ridden the uh, BMW. Ooh, close up. Ridden the uh, BMW. Uh, 1200S, I believe it was. That's that's a bad bike, man. I don't know. I really don't like to go up there and do that. I go up there and just chit chat with people. My bike seems to be a magnet for conversation. <sighs> Take a break. No. There was uh, there's really not too many of those around. <clears throat> it's kind of their sports touring version. It's real similar to the uh, Harley Davidson FXR T, I believe it is. They have similar fairing on them. I don't know who came first. I can't remember. I think the Guzzi had the SP fairing first. So. They also, Harley has the FXRP, which is a police bike, which is real similar to mine in looks and the way it rides and stuff. I've ridden a few of them. I, I'd like to find one, but I don't really care much for the Evolution motors. I feel they're a compromise. I mean, they're mechanically, I guess, they're a little bit better than the shovel head. But the uh, they did make the shovel head FXR for a couple of years, one or two years I can't remember. But it's a pretty decent bike too. Um, anyway, I just want to give you guys an update and let you know what's going on. Why I haven't been posting a whole lot of videos. I just really haven't had time to come out in the garage. Family comes first. We did take a. Uh, Vacation day, Wednesday, went down to the Creation Museum and uh, was actually going to give Fred uh, just hogging a call. I wasn't too far from the shop. I think I was in uh, Miami Town, which is, I want to say, like 14 miles from downtown <coughs> Cincinnati, which is. I think Fred's just outside of downtown Cincinnati. 
I was going to give him a call and weather was just going crazy, or not weather, traffic was going crazy and I said, let's get out of here. So we came back a different way and I was going to stop in uh, Ross, Ohio. There's a, I believe they're one of the few uh, Carroll Shelby certified dealers in this part of the country. Superformance. They have uh, Cobra replicas and the uh, Cobra tributes. Uh, so like I said, they're, they're Shelby Shelby licensed dealer. They got some pretty nice cars down there. Stopped a few times. Used to be an all Triumph motorcycle swap meet down there in Miami town. Plus there was uh, Sucker Punch Sally's was down there too for a while until they moved to Arizona. So I was going to stop there, and like I said, traffic was just going nuts, and it was hot, and everybody wasn't feeling too well. For some reason, we picked up a bug somewhere. So my wife was sick yesterday. <coughs> my son got sick this morning, so I decided to stay home with him. And a lady at church had passed away earlier in the week, and her service was this morning, so stay home with him and take care of him. Here I come out and give you guys a little update. Well, I appreciate it. And thanks for you guys watching, hanging out. Thank you to Rick. Rick the Fix. <laughs> Cecil, I just watched your video on the Jeep, man. Sorry you got taken on the radiator. Uh, Milrick, I haven't seen a video for him in a couple days, but I watched a few of them. Uh, Ruben, Yahooben66, anybody should go check out his channel, man. He's got some cool stuff he's doing. He seems to be learning pretty fast on the body work. He's going to, I think he's going to go down to see VW Darren, and uh, Darren's going to teach him how to paint his car. Just watched uh, Neil's video, two videos on the transmission. Looks like it's come together pretty good. Uh, Dan Electrode 66. You guys ought to check him out, man. He's got a really cool TR5. Uh, I think they call it the six pack. It's, uh, they upgraded from the uh, tractor engine that was in the uh, TR3s and 4s up to the uh, six cylinder which I'm not sure which model I think there was a couple different models of the TR5 but uh, it's going to be a pretty nice car when he gets done it'll be real cool to see him and his dad going down the road and I believe his dad's owned that car since like the 70s so uh, been up 13 and a half minutes now I appreciate you guys watching I'm going to get this thing uploaded. This is probably going to be a couple hour upload. Leave you guys with the... Uh, looking at the goose. Talk to you guys later. Bye.